In this video, you'll see how easy it is to clean your mats and re-sticky them. Now, I always only ever teach from my personal experience. So what I'm going to demonstrate in this video is based only on my personal experience and what I have found to work well for me. Now let's start by looking at light cleaning. This is where we clean the residue of cutting materials off of the mat so that the mat can regain its tackiness. Now how often the mat will need to be cleaned depends entirely on what you're going to be cutting on it. Now I like to give my mats a light clean after every five or six cuts just to keep the surface clean and sticky. Now the material that you place on the mat often leaves a residue on the mat and that is what reduces the tackiness or the stickiness of the mat. So we need to clean that off. Now to do that we're going to use plain fragrance free alcohol free baby wipes to clean that residue off with. Also choose the kind that has no added oil or gel. So you'll just fold the little wipe up and you're going to rub fairly vigorously to remove any residue that might be masking the glue that is still on the mat. Now just flip it over and give the back a quick wipe as well and once you've done that allow the mat to air dry without its dust cover on it for about two to three minutes. Now because all of the residue has been removed from the glue using that baby wipe and it has been allowed to air dry the tackiness will be back. Now the mat will be good to cut for another five or six times. And once you have finished cutting, always replace the dust cover before you store your mat. Now after the light cleaning with a wet wipe many times and cutting a variety of different materials on your mat, it will start to lose its stickiness more and more. Now this is when you are going to need to add a bit more stickiness or glue. So we're going to take a look at the standard mat first and we're going to look at how to add glue to the mat to make it sticky again. But just before we get into this video, welcome to the Sewn Craft channel. My name is Shireen Haynes, being creative and teaching are my passions and I've been doing this full time since 1993. I post easy to follow step-by-step -step videos for sewing and craft and if you'd like to know when I post new videos please click on the subscribe button, the little bell icon to be notified as well as the like button because this helps me to spread the word that sewing and crafting are fun. Thank you. Also please click on the link below this video to connect to my website for even more video lessons. This is the glue that I use to re-sticky my standard mat. I will show you the other types of glue that I use for the other mats later on. The brand that I use is what is available locally at hardware stores near me. But I'll show you what is important about it so that if you have to find an alternative, you'll know what to look for. So here is the brand that I use. Now if you can't find this exact brand then look for a brand that has these properties. It must be repositionable, acid free, quick drying, ideal for large areas and somewhere on the can it should also say that it's ideal for household repairs and crafts. It bonds rubber, canvas, wood, cardboard, foam, fabric, cork and rigid plastics. Now that we have our mat cleaned and the correct type of glue, let's re-sticky our standard mat. So you'll start by placing the mat on top of a bin liner and please work in a well ventilated area. Now we're going to take masking tape or painter's tape to mask off the areas that must not have glue sprayed onto them. So we're going to stick the tape over the black margins that have got the numbers on them along both side edges of the mat so that when we spray the glue onto the mat we will spray only the area that already has glue on it and nowhere else. I like to use two pieces of tape along the top and bottom edges of the mat to cover the margins as well as those registration marks that are on the mat because we don't want to get any glue onto any part of the mat that the machine is going to read. 
Now we can prepare to start spraying our mat, but please make sure that the scan and cut machine is completely away from where you are going to be spraying. Make sure that the area that you're working in is well ventilated and perhaps even consider wearing a mask for safety too. Remove the glue cap and hold the can about 10 to 15 centimeters away from the mat. Now you're going to spray evenly along the length of the mat and then you're going to do the same but spray evenly along the width of the mat. Now here is an extra little tip. I created a foldable screen that goes around three sides of the mat so that the spray of the glue is contained. I have used Corex board here and you can get this from most signage or poster shops but you could also just use cardboard instead. I cut my strips of Corex about 10 centimeters longer than the actual mat size by about 15 centimeters high. I then just taped them together with tape and then also just taped the edges too just to make it look neat. So now when I'm finished using my screen I can just fold the two outer sides into the middle and store it flat. Just like this. Now once you've sprayed your mat with the glue, just leave it for about 5 to 10 minutes so that the glue can settle on the surface and then your mat will be ready to use again. And I'm going to show you what I do with this masking tape in a few minutes, but just remember that this is a process that you might have to do every few months. Now I do my mats on average every 5 to 6 months I'll give them a new coating of glue. Now the reason that I do this every five to six months is because I use my scan and cut a lot. Now if you don't use yours as frequently then you might only have to apply glue once every eight months but it will depend on how often you use it. But it is important that in between the spray glue applications to do the light cleaning with the baby wipes after every five to six uses to keep the mat tacky and to keep your new glue clean. Then when the mat finally loses too much of its tackiness again, apply the spray glue again. Now once I'm done with gluing my mat, then all I do is I lift off the pieces of painter's tape or masking tape and then what I like to do is I can actually reuse these again. So I take the plastic dust cover from the mat that I don't use as often which is my low tech mat and then I just pop these pieces of tape onto that cover so that I always have all of my pre-cut pieces on top of this cover that lives on top of my low-tech mat. Then each time I want to do this process, I can quickly lift them off and pop them onto my mat. Now obviously after a little while, after you've used them a couple of times, then it would be time to throw them away and cut yourself some new strips. But that is how I do it. But for now, I'm going to pop this piece back on top of my mat because now I'm going to show you how to clean all of the excess glue off because after you have sprayed this adhesive onto the mat a couple of times it eventually builds up and it starts to look awful. Now my mat is at that stage where it is starting to look awful so I am going to now strip all of this glue off of the mat and then re-sticky it again. So I'm going to just pop this back on, making sure to cover all of those ruler lines and registration marks. So now I'm going to show you the process to strip the glue off of the mat. Now this is the product that I'm going to use that will dissolve and then strip the glue off of the mat and it's called gum glue and label remover. Now this is a product that I've had specially prepared that won't damage the mat. I also use it on my embroidery machine hoops to remove the glue from them without damaging them. Now the important thing is not to use anything that is harsh like for example acetone so rather use something like the gum glue and label remover.
Now you can order your gum glue and label remover from Sew and Craft, however there are some shipping restrictions. So if you are not able to order because of those shipping restrictions, then a good alternative for you would be to find a good quality rubbing alcohol. Now the rubbing alcohol may take a little bit longer to actually strip the glue off, but it will strip the glue off without damaging your mat. Now you can spray or pour the gum glue and label remover onto the sticky part of the mat but just make sure that you are working in a well ventilated area and consider wearing a mask too. Now you need to make sure that the sticky area is well covered with that gum glue and label remover so it must be fairly wet. Now once it is thoroughly covered, let it sit for a few seconds to allow the gum glue and label remover to start dissolving that built up glue. The one thing though is do not allow to dry because if it dries, the glue will dry and it will harden again too. Once the glue is softened, we can start moving it around into a little pile and then wipe it away. So now I am using a nylon scraper that I got from the hardware store and I'm going to just gently move that softened glue with it. Please be gentle and just move the glue. Don't scrape on your mat surface because you don't want to damage the lines that are printed on the mat. So just move it around until it all forms into a little pile and now that I've moved the glue into a pile I can move it off of the mat. Now before I move that pile of glue off of the mat using a baby wipe I put on a pair of disposable gloves only because I don't like the icky feeling. So I pick up the pile of glue and then once I've picked up that pile of glue I'm just going to give the mat a good wipe all over. Now if there are still stubborn bits of glue like they are at the top of this mat, just apply some more of the gum glue and label remover and remove that part too because you want a perfectly clean surface to start off with again. Now once you've removed all of the glue, take another clean baby wipe and go over the mat again. Then take a clean soft cloth that you've swished through some clean warm water and then wipe the mat thoroughly because we want to remove any traces of the gum glue and label remover as well. Then you're going to allow the mat to dry and then you can go and apply a new layer of the spray glue. Now once I've applied that new layer of spray glue, I'll have a nice clean tacky mat again. And here you can see I've taken the tape that was on my mat and put it on top of the dust cover of the low tack mat so that I can reuse that next time I want to re-sticky or clean my standard mat. So now all that's left to do to protect this nice clean sticky mat is to put its dust cover on until I'm ready to use it again. Here I have a before picture of the dirty mat and an after picture with the deep cleaned mat with its new glue on it. Now this mat should last us a good few months but please remember that it is important to do the light cleaning with the baby wipe in between after every five to six cuts too to extend the life of that glue. Then when your mat starts looking really really tatty and it makes no sense to clean it anymore then it will be time to consider buying a new one. Now if you would like to make your other mats tacky, for example your low tack mat, then you would use any artist's art mount spray adhesive for the low tack mat. Now this is available from art shops and because it is less tacky it is ideal for the low tack mat. Then if you would like to create a high tack mat which is really sticky then you could use the stencil glue. Now this is ideal for cutting heavyweight materials like leather. It's also available from art shops and some hardware shops and just read the instructions that are printed on the stencil glue content container because they'll explain to you how to apply the stencil glue. 
I have personally prolonged the life of my cutting mats and got the best cutting results too simply by doing what I have shown in this video. Now if you would like more hints and tips subscribe to my channel and also visit my website where I share more video lessons too. You'll be able to find the link to that and the link to my Scan and Cut Facebook group in the description box below this video.